Welcome to another edition of Ice 10 Ages tutorial. In this edition, we are going to show you how to draw four common basic groups used in design. If you've not clicked on the subscribe button, kindly do that. If you've done that, don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notifications for our subsequent videos. Like and share our video, share our videos with your colleagues and friends. If you have any complaint, drop them in the comment box. If you have any idea on how we are going to improve our subsequent videos, don't hesitate to drop them in the comment box. So without wasting much of our time, let's get to the business proper. So guys, the first roof we are to model today is our hip roof. Let's quickly get started. I believe you already know how to draw the walls from our previous tutorials. So if you, if you don't know how to do that, please go back and see our previous tutorial. They are well explained and uh, they will get you back to speed. So let's begin. You click on your roof. After clicking on it, you select your level 2, which is your roof level. You go to your level 2. Our roof is a regular, our wall is a regular wall. So we just pick on this. And we are going to use an offset of 600 overhang. Roof overhang. So we we'll put it like this. Let's have it this way. Click on that edge. We have it like this. This is the simplest roof you can have in Revit for me. So you just click, and that is all. Let's check it in 3D. And this is our hip roof. That's all about hip roof. So let's go to the next roof. So quickly our next roof is the lean to wall it's still the same pattern you click on your roof yes level two after doing that is a regular wall so we just pick on this let's not forget our 600 overhang so we have this so we click on this point and click on this point so in this case we just don't click on finish the finish mode that is this but we uh, escape twice then we click on this side we tell the roof not to slope then we click on this side again we tell it not to slope by on ticking we also click on this one we say not to slope by on ticking that means we want these three sides not to form slope and we say finish so let's quickly look at our drawing in 3d so this is it you will discover that it has actually sloped up in this direction so we have to attach the walls so you can click on wall you can decide to like select visible in all instances with this then you go to your attach top or base you click on your roof and we have it everything intact so that is that about this roof so the next is the gable roof or the gable or whatsoever it is called so let's get to business you still click on roof the same process yes after that you click on this because the wall is regular if it is not you are supposed to use this to follow all your pick walls so you have uh, 600 overhang 600 so you click this and this so you have it like this just like that one we are not supposed to click on finish mode instantly so we'll click on escape twice to on to stop drawing so we we'll click on the sides we want our gable to be so i want it on this side and i also want it on this side so i'll click on it i'll say don't define slope in that direction i'll also click on this side i'll also say don't define slope in that direction then i'll click on finish so let's see our roof in 3d so we have it like this so you see this is it so but this wall is not joined so just like the, the other roof we click on the wall you see join to roof you have that so you come here again you click on this you see attach click on and that that is that about this roof so let's go to our next roof so the next roof is the dutch roof actually dutch roof is a combination of hip and gable so you have to work with me to see the procedure it's a little bit different from the rest so you click on your roof still level two i'm still picking this don't forget the overhang so we'll put our 600 so we'll have it like this so you we'll have it like this after all just go, go and click on finish so after clicking on finish let's go to our 3d so this is our roof we have it like this so on 3d surface you click on your roof like this then you come to your properties go to cutoff level select your level 2 then your cutoff 
what what this cutoff is trying to tell you is let's let's cancel that first the the cutoff offset is trying to tell you where you want to start your your the dodge part of the roof or where you want to fix in the gable part of the roof so actually since you are telling the 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 software that the cutoff level should start at level two so your distance will start counting from the top of level two which is this point upwards so any offset you are putting here is going to count it upwards so if you want it to be somewhere here that means you have calculated the distance between here to here then you cut off this place so for this tutorial let's just take whatever thing that comes to mind let's have it level two and let's say maybe a thousand so you have to hold that in mind the 1000 you see it has cut off that level so this is it then we will now have to go back to our level 2 now where our roof is this is it then we will now withdraw our roof again so we'll have it like this at this point so i usually like to use this when it comes to this to avoid any mistake i fix it like this i fix it goes around goes to this point let's have like this like this uh -huh. with that being done i told you you must not forget what you actually offset when you were cutting off the plane so that will be your base level we actually used 1000 so we are going to insert 1000 as our base offset from level base offset from level and don't forget i told you it's a combination of hip and gable roof so we are going to define slope here don't define slope click on this one too and tell it to don't define slope so we say finish so let's go and check our roof in 3d so you see it has formed the gable end you see the gable end has been formed and this is the hip though we've cut it off so you can see but you observe that here and here they are not joining here and here they are not joining so we still have to do something so we go back to our level two our level two on our level two we come and place wall here so let's pick our wall but when placing this wall we're not going to be placing it from center to center so you have to check change location of the wall so you pick on this you say finish face exterior so you click from this point to this point you cancel then you come back i hope you notice the movement of my mouse my cursor rather so that you won't make mistake so with that done you escape so let's go back to our 3d to go and see it so you see it is actually going above our roof so you click on it like the usual pro procedure you see then you click on your roof and that is that then you come back here you do the same do this click on your roof and that is that if you look at it if you look at it it is covered or well, you can decide to put any material so let's quickly see let's see if we can put glazing so let's say a glazing so let's click on that and let's say for this one too a glazing let's go back and say glazing uh, exterior glazing though it all depends on you you can decide to put different material let's quickly look at this one in realistic view realistic view so this is what it will look like and this is what is known as the dutch roof it's just a combination of hip and gable roof so with that we've come to the end of this tutorial Please kindly subscribe, share our videos, click on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos and don't forget to invite more of your friends to join us so that it will encourage us to make more interesting and loving videos for you guys to come and enjoy. Thanks for sharing your time with me.